I have always wondered whether 3D printed shoes are just a cool idea or something you can actually wear. So I printed a pair myself and took them on 10 km walk. Here's how they held up. I got a new filament from Big U and it's called Morflex. It's a variable hardness flexible filament for 3D printing shoes. It means that it prints 90A hardness and then it should drop to 75A. Sounds nice. I have seen 3D printed shoes many times and I always thought it would be nice to print a pair someday. Today that day has finally come. I am not a shoe designer so I looked for ready made models online and found these ones. I think they look great and the original size is EU46 exactly my size. If you need a different shoe size there is a chart that shows the correct scale for each size. I used the design and profile for H2D. I did change the nozzle size to 0.4 because I don't have 0.6 nozzle. With a 0.6 mm nozzle you can use a higher layer height which speeds up the print. Fewer layers can also make the print stronger, reducing the chance of cracks forming between layers. If you want to print flexible filaments with H2D you can't use AMS. It's recommended to use external spool holder. Size pull holder is good for 95A filaments, but the softer filaments it recommended to use top mounted holder. You can find TPU printing guide for HUD from Bamboo Wiki. Next step was to print top mounted spool holder. One full plate 3D print, I used PQ Cairo Grip build plate to reduce the chance for adhesion failure. I have used same build plate with my X1 for a long time and I have had very few adhesion failures. They are long lasting and you can use lower bed temp. You also don't need to clean the blade often, I sometimes clean it with LCD screen cleaner. If you have adhesion problems, you should consider buying one. I also added link in the description if you are interested. Spool holder was printed and it was time to install it. It went smoothly, no problems with that. Besides the printed parts, you will need bowden tube also. H2D supports printing with two different filaments. I use PLA for supports and Morflex for the shoe. PLA supports are easier to remove and with tall print TPU supports will start flexing too much and print quality will suffer. If you wonder why I didn't use the blue PQ plate, it's because TPU has very good adhesion and it would be pain in the ass to remove it. You can easily ruin your print trying to remove it. So that's why I used the original build plate, but it was still not easy job. I managed to remove it without any damage to the shoe. Removing the supports took some time, but it wasn't too difficult. The inner supports were trickier, but flexing the shoe helped a lot. Support areas have much smoother surface if you use different support material. There's a lot of support material which means quite a bit of filament gets wasted, but I'd rather use extra support than risk a failed print where everything ends up wasted. But there was an issue with the first shoe I printed, there was under extrusion, layer separation and I made it worse when I removed supports. I tried to glue it back together but I didn't have high hopes that it would hold. I can't say exactly what caused that issue but I think it may be my fault. It's strongly recommended to use brand new hot end or a dedicated hot end for printing flexible filament. I didn't do that and I think it was a residue from other filament causing this short term clogging or extruder skipping. It was only the time it happened during printing these shoes, it would be something else also, I don't know. The repair looked fine at first but it came loose as soon as I put the shoe on. They feel quite nice, could be a little bit bigger size, my other shoes are also size EU46 but this feels little small. They are quite flexible and they are also easy to put on, I like the mesh design. They are making some hissing noise when I step on the heel, at the moment it isn't bothering me but I think it will start to be annoying. But as the saying goes don't judge the book by its cover, I decided to go for a walk to find out how they hold up. You might be wondering why test them if one was already broken. The reason was simple, I still wanted to see how well they would hold up. I put the shoe on and my smart post showed 0.22 km before I started. I had a little bit more than 2 km walked and the broken shoe was not looking good, other one looked fine. 
I continued to walk, the broken shoe still stayed on and it feel okay to continue. The mesh shoes maybe not best choice for the open weather. Almost 5 kilometers walked. The camera had struggled focusing the watch. If you step on a rock you're definitely going to feel it. And the left shoe started to give up. Almost sliced all the way down, right one didn't notice any damage. At around uh, 9 kilometers, I felt my foot starting to go wet. It was almost in two parts, I changed the shoe and continued my walk. On the regular shoe and one 3D printed. Shoes height differences were quite big and it wasn't comfortable to walk like that so I head home. I walked about 10 kilometers total. Left shoe failed, not a surprise, but surprise was that it could walk almost 9 kilometers with it before it totally failed. If I took a quick look at right shoe, it seemed okay, but when I took closer look, I noticed some issues. Mesh side was broken, it wasn't much at the moment, but I think it will start to get bad fast. There are some cracks here. Heel feels softer, infill may be broken inside. Here you can see that dirt is going between layers. Shoe sole has some wear, some road surfaces were on the rough side. Some cracks on the front also. Other parts of the shoe seems to be fine. More flex filament is soft and feels good. Is it 75A hardness? I can't tell. I don't have tool to measure it, but it feels much softer than 95A. The mesh design can be weaker and can break easier than full print. It also depends on print quality. I like this shoe design. Before I wear them, I thought they can be slippy. They have quite nice grip actually, at least with this filament. It was first time I 3D printed shoes and also the first time I used that filament, so I think there is room for improvement. Consider what I experienced with walk test, I don't think 3D printed shoes is for daily use. Can be used for short distances. But you can use 3D printing to prototype new shoes. It's easier and cheaper to make different versions and try them out before letting some company to produce a patch. About the filament, I think it's quite easy to print comparing other filaments that have similar hardness after printing. It was definitely an interesting thing to try out. What do you think about 3D printed footwear? Have you tried to 3D print some and how it went? You can comment below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this little 3D printed shoe experiment, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more 3D printing videos.